Hey everyone, I gotta apologize to you guys. I know it's been a long time since we put out a video, but I'm waiting on the rafter logs. Uh, this sawmill takes a long time to get stuff to me. I don't know if he's having trouble getting logs or what, but um, it's just what it is. So I've been doing some other stuff around here and, and uh, since we're still waiting on those rafter logs, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use um, half as many rafters as I probably could. I'm gonna beef them up a little bit and use some steel accents on them and that should be pretty cool. I'll kind of show you those maybe this video, maybe next. Hopefully I can get those rafter logs this week and I'll show you how we're gonna do those and how we're gonna treat them. It should be pretty cool. But in the meantime, I got some other things I have to do. And one of the things I have to do is I gotta put some side rails on my truck bed because I have to haul some stuff where I need some side rails. So. It's a good afternoon. I thought I'd bring you along and show you how I'm going to do those. I'm just going to use uh, rough sawn logs that I have laying around here and stuff that I have laying around my yard so it doesn't have to cost a ton of dough. I'm going to finish them with our oil and diesel fuel mixture and this is what we're going to use. This has even got some mold on it and a lot of dirt on it from laying around. We'll clean all that up and once we get done it's going to look really cool. So nice simple easy project but adds a lot of value to your truck bed and uh, makes it much, much, much more useful. Yeah, these boards are going to match that black flatbed just perfect. And that evolution saw makes a nice cut.
Well, there they are guys, pretty simple bed rails made out of rough sawn two by eight pine and some scrap two by fours we had for stakes in the stake pockets. Made these for free out of scrap material I had laying around. That means you can too. I even had the scrap C channel I'm using to hold the back bed rail in place. The used motor oil and diesel fuel we used for stain was also free. I built these for nothing. And that's pretty cool. Use what you got laying around and you can do something pretty nice. Once these dry and to a nice silvery gray patina, they're going to match this bed and look awesome. I kind of left my rails high off the bed because I'm not trying to hold back any loose gravel or anything like that. That's not what I'm, that's not what I'm going to use these for. And I also want to be able to get my hand underneath them to put a strap on if I have to strap something down. I also put the bed rail on the outside of the stakes because again, I'm not going to use these to hold back, you know, heavy, heavy material. So I don't need to brace against the stakes. These are basically just for looks or just to hold back, you know, loose boxes, totes, stuff going to the dump, whatever. Loose material that's really hard to haul on a flatbed if you don't have any kind of a side rail. That's really why I built these. And I think it looks a lot better with the rails on the outside of the post versus on the inside. That's why I did it. So anyway, it's a pretty simple project. Um, thought I'd have you guys tag along as we did it. It was pretty fun to do. You guys can do one of these too if you got a flatbed on your truck and you're wondering, you know, you can buy commercial ones, but they're expensive. Um, you can even modify these with hinges so they flip down, all kinds of stuff. I just kind of did these simple because I can pull these in and out of this bed real fast and I don't have to keep them on there all the time. And also, I can also reverse these in case I do need the stakes for reinforcement. It's really windy today. I got a thunderstorm barreling in on me, so I apologize for that. We should be back on the log cabin next time. I'm waiting on the rafter material from the sawmill. I'm at the mercy of him, you guys. I apologize that it's taken so long to get this thing done, but I'm just waiting on him. So we're going to use some bigger material and fewer rafters, and we're going to use some iron accents on those rafters, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use iron collar ties and iron rafter ties just for aesthetics to make it look neat this isn't really a timber frame so we don't have to worry about really all wood peg type of joinery this is really like a log cabin so i think that iron accent in the rafters would have been cool i could have gone down and got some just regular two by six material and built a whole bunch of rafters for this but that really wouldn't have done this building justice and i would have been kicking myself if i would have done that i want to do something pretty neat and this is going to be pretty cool so we're just waiting for the sawmill to get them cut. Um, but once we do, then we should be able to slap them up pretty fast and the progress should get rolling again pretty good. Be sure and subscribe to Instagram and Facebook. I put other stuff on there that I don't put on YouTube. I've been posting quite a bit on Instagram since I've been away from YouTube. So be sure and check that out. Great Plains, at Great Plains Craftsman. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. I know I always say that, but I really do. We'll see you next time.